Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over part 8 of the warehouse design series. And in this series, or excuse me, this video, we're going to be focusing on where to put the forklift charging station. So when you have a warehouse, typically you're going to need some sort of MHE equipment, which is usually forklifts. And the forklifts typically run on battery, sometimes they run on propane, but a lot of times they'll run on battery and you will need to charge these forklifts occasionally. So in this video, we're just going to kind of go over where those charging stations should be placed and what they're going to look like. So with that being said, let's get into it. As always, before we get into the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. This gives me an idea of what content's doing well, what you want to see more of. If you like the video, give it a like down below. If you want to see something else done in AutoCAD, leave it in the comment section below. And if you want to support the channel, there's a link down below as well. All right, so we're going to get into this. And the first thing we're going to do is there's no real entrance for the associates to get into the actual building. There's an office entrance, but we're going to assume that most people are going to be coming in through the main entrance. So before we can even get to our forklifts, I'm going to add in a couple doors into the entrance way that I have not done yet. So we're just going to copy this door up here. We're going to move it down here. And then we're actually going to rotate it because I want the doors facing outward. So we're going to rotate. There we go. And then I'm just going to create a midpoint line right here so I can line everything up. There's the middle. I'm going to move this door right there. And as you can see, we have an exit way in, out of the um, main area and an entryway into the warehouse itself. So the next thing we're going to do, and I already have it created, is we're going to add in the battery chargers for the warehouse. And we are specifically going to put the battery chargers right in this area. And the reason for that is because that is an area that is secluded. There's no exit doors that are going to be blocked. And it's kind of in a corner of the warehouse where all the electrical area and um, batteries can be charged for the forklifts. So we're going to go ahead. And I've already created this battery charger right here. I also have a forklift. And I'm just going to take the battery charger and move this. We're going to copy it. We're going to move it over here. And I want it spaced a little bit off the wall. So we are going to, let's see, let's come out, we'll call it 10 feet off the wall. So we're coming out 10 feet, and then we want to come out mm, roughly probably two feet off the wall, maybe three feet. We'll call it three feet just for egress. And then I'm going to take that battery charger. Oops, I'm going to copy it, and we are going to move it. And I'm going to just take the center point right here and go right there. All right, so now that we have that done, we're going to grab the forklift right here. And we are also going to move this. Once we move it over here, we'll rotate it. And now that it's moved, we are going to rotate. We'll just do that in the middle. And now I'm going to move the forklift up kind of near the battery charger. We can just come off the middle right there. And now that I have the forklift and battery charger in the right spot, the original one, I'm going to want to create three feet separation between each one. So I'm going to create basically individual forklift parking spots. So we're going to come over here. We're going to draw another line of three feet. And I'm going to take this entire drawing. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to select right here. And we're going to come off three feet of this line each time. Now for this particular warehouse, we are going to put in enough charging for eight forklifts. They're, the customer may or may not want this. I don't know, it's kind of a made up customer, so it's really just however your facility sees fit. But as you can see here now, we have eight battery chargers for the forklifts. And I wanna be very clear that new forklifts do usually use battery chargers. They use the lithium ion version, whereas older forklift setups may need the actual battery changed out instead of just a charger. So when you're talking about a battery change out, that gets a little bit more complicated because you need an entire area, and then you need a specialized uh, piece of equipment to actually change and remove the batteries so they can be charged. Those are typically lead-acid batteries, and they're not recommended anymore in warehousing for multiple reasons. 
but that is a big reason why. So now we're just going to erase some of these lines here. Get rid of these. And as you can see, now you have a battery charger. So I know this battery charger is a box, but I'm going to throw a picture up on the screen too of what the battery charger actually looks like. And it's typically a pretty small unit that has a cable that plugs into the actual forklift itself. So it's a quick charge, and then you can um, use it right away. All right, so now that we have the battery chargers in place, I kind of want to just talk a little bit about forklifts in general. So with these eight locations, that doesn't necessarily need to be used for those specific forklifts. Those are just kind of placeholders that you see. Uh, you could have ride-alongs, OPs, order pickers, um, regular reaches, regular forklifts, uh, really anything that you want that, you know, the company that you're going with offers, right? And speaking of companies too, there's plenty of companies that you can look through. You have Toyota, Heister Yale, Crown, you have Raymond Lift Trucks. All those companies are very good um, in what they do, and they have plenty of options that they can provide you. I would also go towards a lithium-ion option as well. And I know we discussed this a little bit a second ago, but the lithium-ion option not only is way more convenient, it is also a lot safer considering you don't have to water the lead-acid batteries. They last longer. Uh, just overall speaking, you're going to want a lithium-ion style battery. Yes, it's going to be a little bit more expensive up front, are you going to reap the rewards later on? 100%. I would highly recommend any sort of lithium-ion battery that you can get your hands on. Um, also, in this specific area, we're going to want some guardrail. So I'm going to or planning on um, adding guardrail to this area as well. It's just a matter of uh, when and what video. But you're going to want guardrail in that area. All right, so that's going to wrap the video here. I know it was a little bit shorter, but I really wanted to dedicate just an area to talk about forklifts because it's such a huge part in any sort of warehousing operation, or it typically is a huge part in any sort of warehousing operation. So again, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'm going to do my best to answer them. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel, give it a like down below, and we will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.